are you planning to pick up New War Hill in just a few more days and you are hoping to hop in with some of your friends and actually go out and afford to get well, some information have came available that uh, kind of going to make that extremely difficult with the way New War is setting up its beginning game as far as a well people are funny and well. And today we're going to go ahead and discuss everything you need to know about this as well as some possibility of some helping tip not only for New War but your MMOs as a whole. But before we hop into that, if you are new here and you haven't already, make sure you do the thumbs up, subscribe, Hit all the bells and uh, don't forget to uh, check out membership below so you can be like all the wonderful folks on Queen. But we will talk about that more at the end of the video. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead, let's get into this and let's discuss what is happening for New War and other MMOs that have very similar problems. So to start off here, this is not just a New War problem, this is a problem that is in many MMOs out there, Final Fantasy XIV have this issue, and other MMOs as well, and that is of course tied to the beginning of the game and the way it treats players and their friends. So for anyone who is not aware, New War have brought out information stating when the game actually become available to the public. It is, of course, going to have multiple areas that people can end up finding uh, for the beginning tutorial quests to get you through the normal routine, like how to make weapons, how to hunt, and so on. And that is one of the four issues coming in here, because you would think it wouldn't be, you know, you would just pick wherever your friends are finding and be able to join them there, or, you know, anything of the sort that will help you navigate how to meet up with each other. But New War not going that way at all here. Of course, when you start the game, after you get through the instant intro, you will be started off in a distant areas on the continent. And the thing is about New War is the continent itself is extremely big. And since the game is very much about exploration, there is a, a lot of hazardous areas and enemies that you can come across, any and some of the throttle areas. And having your player base separated into different areas, uh, any if they all just wanting to play with their friends, could become a real problem. And the main reason for this is not only not being able to pick, but of course having a, to a deal with mainly just friend groups. Since I think we all have had that feeling with any multiplayer game or MMO, where you have friends that you recruit and always a handful of people that not really interested in the game, but it pretty much playing it because, you know, the friends at them too, or, you know, they're just trying to find a activity uh, to help with, you know, life issues and as a whole here. And many players like that, if they already on the fence about the game, if the game itself don't do a good job connecting with them right away, the only other fallback here is the cult of friends, and if that option not available to them, for multiple hours, then at a higher chance the player bait will just drop off. This is where the issue come in here. There are a few walkarounds inside of New War, which is the cult doing the tutorial, and before turning the quest in, teleporting to whatever zone that your friends are in, and then you can meet up that way. Which don't seem like a bad thing to you will like the thing is about New War intro if we have our intent. And then we of course have a handful of quests that it tied to, of course, uh, teaching you how to collect items, how to clap a uh, hunting item, uh, since the game also kind of lean a little bit into survival games here, with, of course, making tools, making skin, making battle axes, and you want to all that before pretty much completing that semi-tutorial. So this could take anywhere from, like, 30 minutes to an hour plus depending on the type of person you are and most people usually don't even really have that much time to play especially when they are just testing the game out or been you know guilted into playing and then we turn you can start seeing how much this is a big problem like i said not only for new war other mmo have that problem such as final fantasy and whatnot this is just a mmo problem as a whole here and in other MMOs, though, have been way to kind of walk around uh, being able, in the case of Final Fantasy, picking a craft that thought off in the same city state that your friends are in. 
Well, new wall is going to be 100% random and follow like where you're starting. So you can't exactly have that walk around heal. So either way it goes, you're going to be spending a decent amount of time to any get to your point where you can meet up with your friends. And then you would think on the other hand, of just like, okay, I would just one to my friend. That's not going to happen, especially with how the area is set up. So then come into a question here of how well is New War actually going to grab the players that are not that interesting as a whole? And also how much of it is actually going to affect the player base that falls like group structure with friends who are all playing together? Because honestly, it more likely going to end pretty bad. Will it be bad long term? We will see, especially as more people get recruited after the fact, and you can just go to the starting zone and meet up with them that way. But at launch, it could be a real big issue for the for a few days, if not the for a week or two. And you might be thinking, like, how would we actually go about fixing this? And of course, I have some theory, not only, you know, letting you pick where you thought uh, your character, that would be a good fourth thought, of uh, being, you know, if anything, right after the intro, you pretty much overlooking the whole environment, just have an option to bring up a map and pick where you want to begin, since, you know, it's not exactly one-to-one -one with the intro to when you actually get involved in the game with other players. So, by teleporting, wouldn't be like, you know, would it be like waking the motion or anything by any means? And another option that will also would have been nice is a way I will also do it is of course uh, being able to, in the case of this, and this is going to be a PC game, having a friend list if not already sent. You know, some people might be playing this on Steam, some might be going through, you know, Amazon or other true services that will become available at time go for the game. Having like a type of friend list might it be you know the platform you play it on of being able to join a party and then start the game and have the leader of the party pick like okay well well i'm gonna start you all just gonna follow or be able a way to of course after making your character and one through the intro of being able to bring up your friend list and just pretty much join on them and teleport to them would also be fantastic especially if they are in the starting zones. But that honestly how I will fix it. But nonetheless, this is going to be a problem moving forward for the full few weeks, if not at launch. Uh, so hopefully, this is going to be one of the things that's not going to be nearly as annoying as it seems right now. But from playing the beta and the cold beta, it kind of feels like it probably is. Uh, so if you are playing with your friends day one, as of now, if you want to play with them outside of week, luck of getting in the same zone with each other make sure before you turn in uh, the final quest in the tutorial to actually pick where you want to turn it in since the quest is the same no matter where your spawning is and you can then teleport to your friend sadly the game did not find this at all this is nothing more than people realizing it from the beta and from a doing other data mining situation and a court post in over on Reddit, which, you know, the majority of players probably not going to see that post or even know about this. So, if you're watching this video and you're going to play with your friend, keep that in mind. That is an option, but it's still annoying nonetheless. But overall, we will see how much this actually affects the player bait on launch and how much bad play that can come from this. This might be one of the issues that only going to select the, you know, affect the minority here. But nonetheless, it's still good to have the information out there to hopefully help out anyone that is hoping to play with their friends. And with that, that is what is going on with the day one Bonnie. And I would love to hear your guys' opinion of it below. Not only about New War, but other MMOs that have similar problems with it. But let me know below how you feel about it and how would you actually fix it. And with that... That will go ahead and do it for me. So if you have enjoyed the video or find it enlightening or helpful, especially if you're going to play with people, make sure you do a thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the bells. And of course, if you want to support the channel, feel free to hit that join button below to join the memberships. Or you can also support me by coming on over to Twitch. Coming on over to twitch.tv slash Troy Macon. Link in the description. Or... By a quote, checking out a patreon.com slash macon. And by signing up over there, you can get lifted like all the wonderful people. And once again, that will be for anywhere. So you want to support on YouTube, you want to support on Twitch or Patreon, you will get your name lifted here. Uh, so with that, 
that would do it for me. And I will go ahead and see you all in the comments.